let's maybe dig into the regulatory landscape a little bit more. I know we've touched on it some, um, but I know that's something that you go, you both care a lot about. So there are regulations around, like we've talked about, providing customers with that adverse action notice um, if they're denied credit. Um, so what types of, and, and also what types of data that lenders can rely on when in making an underwriting decision? And so I'm, I'm hoping you guys can walk me through, like what types of AI technologies of today really help you navigate that regulatory landscape? Why don't you start? Because you've been having big regulatory meetings, I understand. I've been spending a lot of time, I've been spending a lot of time on regulators. So the, the shorter answer is, without perfect uh, explainability, no one should be using ML anywhere in their process. Because you know, you're going you're gonna to have a FICRA violation. So the, the particular thing that you were talking about with adverse action is FICRA. Uh, and it's extremely complicated. You know, and one may argue that it's implemented good or for ill, but the, the social policy goal is clearly to help people understand what bad thing just happened to them and how they can improve it. Mm -hmm. So the policy goal seems like a pretty good thing to do. Um, the tricky part is you actually have to do things a certain way to be able to explain an ML algorithm. And what we've been spending a lot of time talking to regulators about is there's, there's a bunch of stuff that's come out in the media about how to do explainability. Actually, it all doesn't work. Um, and so we want to spend a little bit of time with the various you know, mostly three that are agencies in DC talking about how would you know if the methodology you're looking at works? How would you know if it doesn't work? Not because I'm necessarily trying to sell a product, but rather I would like to make sure we don't accidentally harm customers. And I think on the current path, we're going to accidentally harm customers. Hmm. And I, you know, I would just agree with everything he said. I think, one, we, you know, regulators come in and check our models. They actually look at them and they'll test them. They want to make sure we're not doing something that you know, is off, off base. So we have to be sure that as we're moving very quickly in this new world of technology and using AI, we have to make sure we're bringing the regulators along with us mm -hmm. and being very clear and transparent with them, explaining what we're doing, how it works, kind of bringing them in the tent, if you will, and really um, ensuring that they understand and we understand and we're all aligned. Because, you know, the reality is, I know everyone gets sometimes nervous about regulators. You know, the <laughs> The goal here for all of us is to be fair and transparent to consumers, and we should all be doing the right thing. So, you know, partnering with the regulator and having those discussions versus saying, well, we're not going to talk to them and we're going to just do our thing over here is silly. Uh, they have a job to do, we have a job to do. We should both be on the same page, particularly when it comes to customer protection. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I think you all win if you do that the right way. Mm -hmm. 